here we are. Hello everybody, and welcome back once again to Emavoid's Let's Play of Battle Chef Brigade. So, uh, last time we finished Chapter 1, and that was pretty cool. We actually succeeded in our first practice battle, which was awesome. And next up, we've got Chapter 2 and the start of the tournament. So, let's see how this goes, shall we? Are you not feeling well? <laughs> no, ma'am. I'm feeling great. Your fellow contestants have all gotten at least one match under their belt. Curds. He's fallen behind already? <laughs> <laughs> you need to get moving, cadet. Yes. Wait, where do I even start? My dear, if you had just woken up in time, you would have caught the briefing. <laughs> Mina is very relatable. I, too tend to sleep the entire day away if nobody wakes me up. <laughs> I'm so sorry, instructor. There's no more time to lose. Get dressed and go warm up with Thorn at the Hunter's Guild. Hunter's Guild. Yes, ma'am. All right. Still need to remember to send a uh, letter back to Mom at some point, though. Complete a job at Belcure's Workshop, complete a job at the Hunter's Guild, and complete a job at the Crescent Restaurant. Oops. Oh, because ah, I forget that it's got different buttons. Speaking of, can I go back and... Can I write a message now? No. Okay. Greetings. Good morning, Karen. Oh, good afternoon, Mina. Afternoon, right. <laughs> oh, what are you reading? I just came from the gastronomy lab next door and got this book about handling poisonous foods by Chef Lindve. It's quite good. You can borrow it after I'm done if you like. Thanks. Maybe I will. Good morning, lad. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Hello there. Are you ready for your first day? <laughs> I didn't realize how nervous I'd be, but I'm still excited. That's the spirit. Now run along. Don't want to keep you from the tournament, lad. But I'm a... <laughs> no need to explain. You've got matches to win. Is my voice really that deep? This guy's just a jerk, misgendering you left and right. Hello, sir. I'm Mina. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Have any good bouts today? <laughs> it's hopeless. <gasps> Kitty cat. Hello, little fellow. What are you sitting on? Oh, a coin. Nice. So I guess this is one of the uh, places we can work at, possibly. Oh. Any news? How are things? <laughs> Hello. Wow, you have some beautiful produce and wares here. Why, thank you, milady. May I interest you in our trinkets as well? Check our check out this Fabergé egg. Can't you tell she's just browsing? Leave the poor girl alone. <laughs> I like these guys. It's all right. Are you just passing through, or is this store going to be set up for a while? We're here as long as the tournament is going on. We may have to move around every now and then due to the festivities, but we're easy to find. Not many two-headed cyclopses around these parts. Well, it's very nice to meet you both. Alright, cool. So, hunt, puzzle, and restaurant, and okay. Wait, what's that? Huh? Looks kinda creepy in there, but Instructor Razel told me to go inside, so that's what I'm gonna do. After I talk to what's Thrash that? a little. Hey, it's the little blue jay. How are you doing this sunny afternoon? Dandy, what are you up to today? I was just looking into the Hunter's Guild here. That thorn sure gives me the spooks. Be careful not to touch any of her trophies. I almost got my hand chopped off. Well, I'll try to remember that. Thanks, Thrash. And got a restaurant here. And who's this? You again? Is that your falcon? It's really beautiful. Oh, she knows. Does she help you fight in matches? You're the first falconer I've ever met. Um, is there something you want? No, pardon me. Have fun preening. <laughs> Alright. So, probably gonna want to do these maybe in a particular order. I don't know. We were told to come here first. Good afternoon. 
I was told to report here for warm-ups. Are you Thorn? Maybe I was too suffocating for her. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, pardon? I mean, is 20 messenger doves one too many? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was the Manticore trophy I sent. Oh dear. I'm sorry, but are you the one in charge here? Oh, oh, yeah. You're another tournament baby, aren't you? No. Give me a second to strap up my boots and we'll head to the arena and see what you're worth. Well, all right. S sure. Who's she sending 20 messenger pigeons to? Holy crap. Every good battle chef knows how to make use of physical and magical attacks. My older sister taught me all about wind magic and... Let's get through your exercises. I've got a date with a bottle of wine in half an hour. Where was I? Ah oh, yes! A good hunter has full control over their body. Fizzle attacks use W, magical use D, panic attacks use alcohol, but that depends on your vice. <laughs> to start with, let's see if you can do an uppercut. Every fighter needs a way to hit enemies above them, or get a second jump. Oh, alright. So... Nice. Good. Now show me your best stomp. It's a sure way to hit enemies beneath you. Jump and then press down and... gold coin in my pants pocket. I thought I checked there the last time I did laundry. She wasn't even watching? Last of all, let's see your dodge. You'll need it you'll need it to avoid taking damage. Dodge any time using A. Dodge a Baron's charge. Baron? Have I seen one of those yet? Oh goodness. Well done. That'll be all for today. I can show you my magic too if you'd like. I have special knives and whirlwind and that won't be necessary. Rosal just likes to make sure newcomers are cleared for combat in our arenas. As a reward for passing, I'm to give you some gold, but don't get too excited. It's just change from my grocery shopping. <laughs> I mean, hey, whatever works, right? Okay, you have your gold. I always have more challenges on the bounty board, so come back later. Or don't. Not many do. Aww. Most people are all about the coin, not about the hunt. Um, well, thank you for the instruction today. I'll put it to good use. I like Thorn. Also, I'm wondering who the heck she's trying to woo with all of her messenger pigeons. Alright. So, yeah, I figure next we're just going to want to do the other ones. Pecorino, shoo, shoo, stop eating my experiment. <laughs> Is this a pet store? Settle down, miss, and have some tea. Bree, Fontina, get out of there. <laughs> I'm Mina, by the way. Job, Belchior. Gastronomy wizard extraordinaire at your Ooh, service. Fancy. Wow, that's some title. What do you do here exactly? Well, my lady, I'm in the process of creating a super flavor enhancer. Ooh. It'll accentuate the consumer's favorite flavors, so it'll be universally delicious. I'm calling it Ambrosia. <laughs> How are you going to make this happen? My experiment requires me to extract the essence of a hundred different dishes, but the progress is slow. I'm looking for assistance, but you'd be surprised how many people in town are allergic to cats. But, but kitties. Well, it sounds interesting to me. Is it a paid job? Of course. I'm a professional. The brigade funds all my research. Nice. Also, I keep getting freaked out ever so slightly because I hear them meowing in the background and I'm like, oh, is there a cat outside? What's going on? No, th there's there's no cat outside. There's just a lot of cats in this guy's store. So, how can I help? 
Most of my recipes are almost complete. I just need a hand finishing them up. Would you be so kind? I mean, yeah. Okay, so let's cook. Okay, okay, yeah. There we go. So, and one more. Okay, so. Stop by any time you have a free moment. It looks like oh. Pecorino has taken a liking to you, and I'm sure he'd appreciate you visiting. I love the kitties. <sighs> All right. So one place left. So you're here to apply for the line order cook position. Ah. Can you handle all the orders? I like her already. My family owns a restaurant back home, so I've got some experience. I've never worked anywhere else, though. We'll get you into the swing of things here. Beat the tournament happening. I'm swamped with customers from out of town. <laughs> I'm also a bit short-staffed, since two of my sous chefs are off trying to earn their wings for the brigade. I'll do my best. Here at the Crescent, we prioritize the customer's time and hunger. Not everyone has the time or coin for an exquisite meal cooked by a real battleship. That's where you come in, recruit. Your goal as a line order cook is to fill customers' orders as quickly as possible. Oh, alright. Also, I just noticed that her mallet is a meat tenderizer, and that's super awesome. For each order, all that matters is that the requested taste gem pattern is somewhere in the dish. Hmm. Our pans here don't even get hot enough to upgrade taste gems. So don't make any big plans for grandiose dishes. Here, try this on for size. Okay, so... Cook. So all we need is... Uh... No, wait. I can get this, I swear. Uh, no, that's backwards. There we go. That uh, and now we need. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. I got it in the wrong spot. <laughs> Nicely done. When you're done with an order, my sous chefs will take the dish to the customers. Bracken, order up. Ah! <laughs> Alright, let's run you through one more dish before I let you loose on the kitchen. Remember, focus on making the pattern the customer requests. Any extra taste gems in the dish don't matter. Alright, so we need two blues, a red, and a green. So. Uh, no, it's gonna. There we go. And. There we go. Great, looks like you're getting the hang of it. We've got another rush coming in. This will be a good test. Remember, the faster you serve, the more tips you earn. Ooh, tips are nice. Okay, so, um. Nice. I can't 
Wait. All right, so two and two. Okay, so gotcha. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, and gotcha. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Okay, and oh, um, let's see. No, I need. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, no, I'm I'm okay. There we go. All right. Oh, and uh huh uh huh no wait okay um there we go. Okay. No wait. <laughs> uh no. Wait. Okay, there we go. Like you. Nothing so bad. Alright, so what's this? Load out. Alright, that's you know where we were before. So that's cool. Uh, buy an item at Alan Alice. Nice. Ooh, top worship. Ethereal fire pots. Warm brown and red clay exterior allows this pot to be magically attuned to red taste gems. Only matches red, but it matches on two. Wow. And basically the same, but earth, bark, and foliage. Scenes of the sea. Sapphire dew. Collected at just the right hour in the morning. Slightly salty and reminiscent of the ocean. Two times basic ingredients. Ruby jerky. Hunk of dried meat seasoned with a bevy of spicy flavors. And emerald grass. A bit waxy to the touch. This herb tastes like sunshine and summer. Alright, well, these could certainly be useful at some point. So... I might want to have all of them eventually. So let's go for two of these for now. All the kitchenware you need. And ah, yes. They have the same stuff to say, so no worries. Uh, so we need to challenge somebody. Is this guy to talk to us at all? No, he's still. Alright. Whatever. Uh, we could challenge Thrash again. Alright, or we could challenge whoever this person is. Um, right, so. Load out. Water pot, earth pot, dull pan. No, it's good. Ah. Uh, hmm. Let's go ahead and go against this person. Okay, don't be intimidated. You need to earn your victories. Shiv, if you get a free moment, could we set up a match? You want to duel me? Just a cordial match between two fellow contestants? Do you think this tournament is just a game? I never said! Just go and prepare yourself for battle. I don't like to be kept waiting, and I've heard that tardiness is a talent of yours. Oof. Alright, well we've got these that we need, right? Yeah. And... okay, so... Continue. Oh, cling. I hope I'm not about to get my butt kicked, but we shall see. Kitchen Coliseum.
Welcome, citizens and esteemed guests, to the inaugural day of this year's Proving Tournament. Oh, it is my great honor to preside over what will assuredly be a pulse-pounding centennial. The contestants before you have traveled from across Victusia to showcase their skills in the illustrious Kitchen Coliseum. Only an elite few will rise from the ranks and emerge as brigadiers. As iron chefs. Let's hear it for their bravery. Mina Han loves dreaming up adventurous new dishes at her family restaurant. Hailed in her town as the Iron Stomach, she's sure to serve up intriguing creations. <laughs> My stomach's definitely not made of iron right now. Oh. Mina! This competitor is said to be a descendant of Grand Matriarch Kill and is known for her unorthodox ingredients. Hmm. Shiv Zaya, the acid tongue. <laughs> You're not even worth it. Well, fine. Shiv. Be that way. It's my pleasure to present our longest running judge, Ambassador Akebo. <laughs> You're too kind, Chairman. It's an honor and a privilege to sit at the judge's platform for the centennial. Ah, there's nothing like a ah, plenty fire. Of fire to I the senses. did not wind up picking the fire one, did I? Damn it. Oh well. People of Victusia, I struggled with the choice for today's theme ingredient for weeks before it came to me during meditation. Simplicity. One of King Heinrich's favorite monsters to hunt and eat. Charging across the plains and forests in dangerous herds. Bow run! Alright. I haven't fought any of those yet, but cool. Chefs, please place your dishes on the judge's platform within the time. Whew, okay. Place this kitchen with the best cooking you have to offer. Vive la brigade! Oh, that's a bad idea. Alright. Oops. No, come back here. Uh, that one. Okay. Note to self. Q is what I can use to crop items. Alright. So let's go get some more stuff. Um, Where did you learn to do that? This? Grandma taught me. She was an amateur that time. <laughs> well, it's not like it's impressive or something. Of course not. 
Oof. Nah. Okay, goodness. Oof. Okay. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Okay. I should maybe give that a break for a bit. Actually, you know what, though? No. Um, yes. Oh, come on. Oof. Yeah, that thing's way too tough. No, rude! Oh, crud. And then I dropped off my, I dropped all of my stuff. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, this is bad. Okay, let's just get... Possibly didn't do well enough. Thank you for your hard work. Uh, Let's see what our judge has to say about your efforts. The flavor, it's outstanding. Lantern fruit gulab jamun, the side of Corona nectar and Corona stomach medley. Sixty-five. Under spiced, even fire's bold taste can't cut through the other elements. My kids would love your take on this dish, but it's not quite sophisticated enough for an adult palate. More complexity will round out the flavor for your next attempt. Okay. Disappointing. No! <laughs> fried and stir-fried baron ribs. Topped with baron steak and sun hat tomato medley. Oh no. Oh no, I had a... <laughs> Oh, but it's got fire, at least. I'm not wild about your dish, but its texture and presentation are strong. Wait, so... What? And with that, the acid tongue no! Competition. <laughs> Crud. Two points. Okay, you know what? Can I do a rematch? I want to do a rematch. Okay, um, I think, yeah, that's about as much as we want to do. Okay. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what our judge has to say about your efforts. Expertly crafted. A good dish, but I can't find the fiery notes. Not bad, but a few more ingredients would really have improved your dish. Wow. Cheap cheese steamed bun, served with eggs and corona nectar medley. I was looking forward to fire, but it's not the first flavor to hit my tongue. To achieve that, fire must have the most top quality gems in your dish. Yeah, I only wound up with one, which is, yeah, oh well. I'm not wild about your dish, but its texture and presentation are strong. So wait, did I seriously? The iron stomachs. Okay. <sighs> Mina Han wins. Yeah. All right. This tournament is becoming a joke. The dishes you put up would never have passed the standards of our ancestors. Nevertheless, it's customary in my culture to give the victor a target. Here, we use it to protect toddlers from getting burned when they first start. 
Shiv's Frost Bracelet. Very cold to the touch. Dagger's slow enemies. Nice. Done with jobs and shopping, go to bed, and yeah, I got one new thing I can add in here, so let's, um, yeah. Let's talk. Mm, yeah, we already talked with, about all of this, and we don't really have enough money to buy anything else, so... I think we're good. Can we write anything? No. All right. I am exhausted. <laughs> this was only my first match. I'm gonna have to pace myself here. I haven't even realized till now that I'm hungry. I cooked all day and didn't eat anything for myself. <sighs> I'll eat a big breakfast tomorrow too. Make up for it. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. That would require you to get up early enough. Hey! Go. It's like a trash compactor. We're <laughs> 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 just admiring your appetite. You're like me. I could eat a whole food truck and still be a stiff. What's a food truck? <laughs> You're Mina Han, aren't you? I heard about the Iron Stomach at the opening ceremony. Oh, wow. No one in my village actually calls me that. Just my friend. <laughs> I think the tournament committee tries to play everyone off. I'm nothing special. <laughs> hey, now, don't say that. Having a stomach made of iron is pretty incredible. Mine's made of paper. Plus, you're here, and only the best of the best are in Capital City. We'll see. Either way, I'm really excited for the opportunity. Had a go? Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. Graves to dig up. Graves to dig up? <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> oh, here. Catch. Oh, oh. Huh. A metal trinket of some sort. What a strange guy. Did he say he was going to dig up graves? Yeah, you finally noticed that, huh? Ziggy's bottle cap. Looks like a coin, but is strangely bent on the, e on the edges. Well, because it's a bottle cap. Okay, so hmm. I don't know. What's up? Hey Blue Jay, take a look at this. My family sent me a care package. <laughs> They're the best. See here, my wife, Ardia, made me a seashell necklace. That's beautiful, Thrash. I've never gotten to see the ocean myself. And my two kids drew this picture of the family. The smallest is Lupa. There's Kai with the grin. Isn't it just the cutest thing? Hey, they're pretty good. They definitely captured your stature. I think so too. Though I didn't think my belly was that huge. <laughs> what may I be of service? How did you like the breakfast my wife made? It was amazing. Thank you. Are you alright? It's just, it had a lot of love in it. You made me feel at home. That's the only way one should cook for others. A growing boy like you needs to eat well, especially if you're dueling all day. I told you I'm... Never mind. Have a good day. Is this guy gonna talk to us? If he stays there any longer, I think he might just turn into a statue. <laughs> Care to chat? Did you borrow more books from, from Belchior? Jeez, you study a lot. You'll have to sharpen your mind as well as your knife to do well in this field. But can I trust you with a secret? Um, sure. What is it? I just really like to pet the cats. The books are just an added bonus to visiting the workshop. <laughs> uh, I mean, she's got one right there. It's adorable. Um, okay, hunt. And who's this? Greetings. Hi, I'm Mina. Leonid, nice to meet you. Say, you wouldn't happen to know Caesar, would you? I haven't been given that opportunity, and believe me, I've tried. I was just thinking about what kind of sweets Caesar might like. Sweets? Caesar? I don't know if that guy cares for anything but his pipe. Why are you wondering about something like that? 
It'd be nice to get to know him better. I'm sure he has a lot of wisdom to share. I can't get more than a grunt out of him. Good luck cracking that rock. Alright, so we're off to the practice kitchen. Welcome to the practice kitchen, cadet. Have you been here before? Yes. I fit in a quick practice match with Kieran and Thrash before the opening ceremony. A wise decision. Well then, you know that you're free to use this kitchen as long as you like. Practicing isn't a requirement, but if you're ever unsure of a new tool you've acquired or new tastes you've discovered, consider coming here before challenging someone. Makes sense to me. Good. I'm off to check in on the others. Best of luck, cadet. Alright, easy enough. Um, I need this guy again. Hmm. That's enough of that, I suppose. Actually, I do want to check. Does he keep the damage I do to him? I feel like that's some pretty important things. Ah, he does. Ouch. we got here? Dragon Shank, Dragon Heart, and Dragon Steak. Alright, so let's get some more red and green to go with those then. Ooh, ooh. Watery sauce. Interesting. Makes sense, I guess. Alright. So let's see what we can do with this. Ooh, fancy. Hmm. Okay, so you can't start off with those ones. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. What does that do? What happens if we add... Oh! Interesting. Okay, so those turn whatever you drop them onto into that color. Cool. Okay. So, can't actually do anything with it, but that's okay. Okay, so you totally can, however, move a dish from one pot to another pot, which is cool. And that means if I'm smart about it, Something else watery, real quick. Like, okay, hey, this will work. Uh, yeah. 
Well, no, it won't, but. <laughs> And challenge someone again. Well, I think that's probably enough for today's episode. So, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to come back next time. And uh, if you liked this video, please leave a like or subscribe or whatever. You know, comments are cool too. Money at the Patreon or PayPal. It's all good. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.